Hello again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to another Brutus Monroe Design Team layout. Today we're going to focus on some of the new March stuff. I've got the sophisticated spring stamp set. Look at how cute these bunnies are. So I'm going to create a whole layout of the garden um, that my husband put in last spring. And we are going to play with glitter glaze and aqua pigments. Now these are not the only two. I just pulled these out because I have to dig through all of them. Not so much dig. I just have to figure out what colors I want. I didn't want to have them all over the desk. But we're going to stamp our cute little Easter eggs and we're going to paint them all up with some aqua pigments but I'm also going to pull in some of this beautiful emerald glitter glaze and I'm going to create the grass at the bottom of my layout for my Easter eggs to sit in uh, and just kind of hang out. I'm, I don't think I'm going to go straight to page. I'm pretty sure that I am going to like do a couple of bands on like a white piece of cardstock and then I want to do some um, I sneeze. I apologize. I'm going to get my fringe scissors and cut that after this is all dried on there and then do a couple layers um, so the Easter eggs can be tucked in there. And I know it's a garden picture, but it's cool to use Easter eggs and stuff like that because it's spring. And I might even throw a bunny in for kicks because my husband did battle the bunnies on eating his garden. So I'm going to get all this stuff. I'm going to get this just slathered on some strips of white cardstock nothing big there i'll get these stamped on some white cardstock and i'm going to paint them i'm not going to bore you and make you watch me paint the easter eggs with them with the aqua pigments but we'll come back when this is all finalized and we'll start putting the layout together so i've got my stamping platform out we've got the detail ink and we've got our stamp set so what I'm going to do with my stamping platform is I'm actually, whoa, I'm just going to just use it for the cushion and the placement. My magnet's over here stuck. So we'll show you a fun trick that I have recently learned. Let's see if I can find my smaller stamp block which is over here okay so we're going to go ahead and new stamp get it rubbed on the arm detail ink we're just going to pounce that in there make sure it's got good coverage we're going to press firmly now because it's got foam, so this will make a better image. We've got that going, so we're going to do a couple of these. I don't know which eggs I'll use, but I will save the rest. You just hold to let the ink get in there, or you know, absorb into the paper. Okay, so because I'll end up sticking my fingers in this, we're going to go ahead and shut that down. I'm going to use my squeaky clean. I thought I was going to need this block, but I don't think I'm going to. And my rag, so I'm going to spray squeaky clean onto the rag. And then just... Wipe the S F extra ink off to make sure it's clean. It does, you know, you're they're gonna get stained. Then you're gonna want to flip it over, okay? Just kind of make that a little less sticky. I've got some distress ink. <laughs> I keep laughing because I keep sucking. It keeps. It's magneted to that now. We're just going to stamp the back of it. And 
You're going to take the back and you're just going to stamp right over it, let the ink absorb in, and there you go. Now it is not perfectly the same shape, right? But that gives it that fun look. Plus, since it goes outside the lines, if you want to just cut all that extra off, you can. So I'm going to do all of, oh, I'm shaking the camera. I'm sorry. I'm going to do all of them the same. We're just going to hold down, give it time for the ink to absorb into the paper. And that's a fun trick to coloring. If you want to get your eggs or your shapes stamped, this one works perfectly because it, you know, there's not a lot of detail that I'm worried about. But so now we have three perfectly covered eggs. I'm going to go ahead and stamp the rest of these, do the same things in different colors, and we'll be right back. I've got the glitter glaze on, so I am letting that dry. So I have all of the Easter eggs done and a fussy cut. Glitter glaze is dry. Now we're going to pull in some aqua pigment in yellow. I'm going to use this star background. And all I'm going to do is enhance our star background, sun background, because we're going to put the strips of grass glitter glaze down at the bottom. And then we'll have the sun and so I'm going to shake that up, kind of shake it to the side, squeeze it a few times just to get it really nice in there, but I'm just going to enhance the, I'm going to put drops just kind of like that all over. It will dry. I'm just kind of. Missed that one, didn't I? So we'll do that. We'll get that all done, and you'll see when it's done, it's just going to be another little texture to the background just to kind of make those suns kind of pop. So what I did was I took some Distress Ink and kind of made that um, white cardstock um, you know, just, just put a, like a nice coat of some green distress ink, just in case it would show through, it wouldn't be stark white. Then I glazed right over it, fringed it up, and then I took red line tape because it needed to be a really, really super strong tape and adhered it to green cardstock just so you wouldn't be able to see the pattern behind it. And now we've got our grass and we have our sun. I've got my photos just tucked right in there. Not real sure what I'm going to do. I think I was thinking probably I don't even know if this is going to be possible. You get this possibly right there and this one right there. Let's move all those eggs to the side. So for the red line tape, I just take my Teflon bone folder and just burnish that down. I'm going to just peel it off. Like this one. I really don't want to use that, so I was a bad example because I didn't really get, I didn't go real well on the glaze there. So we are going to pop that Right there, and then I just kind of measure where it's going to be, grab some scissors, and just trim that off. I'm going to use my tweezers to grab the release tape, backing, whatever. And then we are just going to get that stuck there. Let's see, so this one, I just need to cut those three off. Okay, so this way everything is 
nestled. Oh. Right in there. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to take the Easter eggs, and I apologize for my hair, and I'm just going to tuck Easter eggs in all over the place. We're going to use a liquid glue because it's going on the glitter glaze. I'm just going to add it right at the bottom, and I am just going to tuck. And we'll go different. So I did use all of our patterns, right? I'm just gonna just gonna pick them up a little bit and we're gonna run them off the page but what a fun way to make an Easter egg layout and I know I don't have like Easter egg photos but I'm sure all you guys with kiddos would really benefit from having this stamp set. And then the texture on the glitter glaze, and you see how I tucked to this one in right here. We're going to do a few more like that. Oops. Bring him down because they're, you know, Easter eggs are hid. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, five, six, seven. Okay, so now we start again. And I'm just going to try to make sure that we don't have, you know, colors by each other. So I wouldn't want to put this one up there. I'm going to stick him there. There. Right there, so you're just gonna barely see them peeking in and out. But how much fun is this? Oh my god, it's so cute! Now, this is one of like the one times that the layout in my head came out the way that I wanted it to. We're gonna just let's see. Let's get this guy right here. I know there's a purple there, but it is what it is. Okay. So I have to know if you guys are going to try this, so then we can go like under two layers. Oh, so cute! And it was so easy to color them. Let's go ahead and pop that under the photo as well. Um, I'm loving it. All right. Just tucking them all in. Seeing where we might need an additional one to hide. Let's make this go this way. I think that's gonna do it. I didn't get another green one on there, but that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna roll it. I'm gonna turn it, turn it over and like. So these I will just save, and I just put them right there in my stamp pad. All right. So all I'm gonna do is turn it over and just really, you know burnish that down. I'm going to trim the edges and I'll be right back. 
All right, so I went ahead and just tucked in a few little stickers from the sticker sheet, nothing big, just to give it a little bit of something else. I put a banner up here with some brads and some twine. My title is just beautiful because Mother Nature is beautiful in our garden and all of these really fun Easter eggs. So yes, head on over to Bridges Monroe, pick yourself up the sophisticated spring stamp set for all your Easter egg layouts. You will never need another stamp set if you have this one. Glitter glaze and aqua pigment as well. Get some of that because it's always fun. As you can see, aqua pigment is splattered throughout the background. The higher up you drop, the bigger the splatters. And I just had a lot of fun just kind of dropping that all over. So it does kind of give it just a little bit of like a whoo, little dimensional look. But the star of the show down here really is the eggs and the glitter glazed fringed up grass. So I had so much fun creating this layout. I would love to know if you guys do something like this, hide your Easter eggs. I think it's really super cute. And I am enjoying playing with these things all month long. We will have springtime fun. I'm ready for the warm weather. The cold's got to go. So I will see you guys later. Head on over to Bruce Monroe and pick yourself some of this stuff up. Bye for now.